Welcome to Intimate Talk with Florence Asamoah. Will marriage bring me contentment? I'll be right back. As a single person, you should be able to have some level of contentment within yourself. Your contentment is not tied to marriage. And I want you to really understand this. Your contentment is not tied to marriage. What are your own aspirations? What is your vision? What are the things that make you happy? You should be able to define these things yourself and work through them. You're not supposed to tie your happiness to another person. The moment you do that, you miss it, honey. You miss it. That's the truth. You should be able to be excited about your own self. You should be able to be confident in your own self. Why are you tying your happiness on another? It should not be. If you have a vision, you'll be driven with passion. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping here. If you have a vision, you will be driven with passion. And when you do that, then it will bring you contentment. Listen to me. As a single person you are, let's say you are a teacher. You wake up every morning preparing to go teach your students or pupils. Yes, that brings you some level of zeal every morning. In that regard, there is a driving force. Even when you don't have money in your pocket, honey, this brings you satisfaction. Your joy is to see your students understand what you teach and pass their exams. That is a drive. See, when you are doing these things, nothing can stop you because there is a vision, there is a drive, there is a zeal. You should have these things, then you can beat your chest and say you are contented. Yeah. What will make a doctor wake up and be running around? What will cause a doctor who will retire to bed to wake up again, to go meet the patient? Listen, there is a passion. And as a single person, you have to be driven with passion. Yes. Without passion, you cannot feel fulfilled. Remember, your contentment is what brings you to the level of fulfillment. And so when you in yourself are not able to get contented, then you lose it. Your partner or your spouse is not the one to bring you contentment. And so that is where a lot of people get it wrong. I want to marry so that marriage will make me happy. Oh no. If you are not able to be happy by yourself, your partner will not be able to make you happy. That is the truth. And you would have to face it. You should be able on your own to wake up, dress up, step out in all confidence come back feeling good in yourself. Yes. It is not a man who should help you feel good. Neither is it a woman who must help you feel good. You should feel good by yourself. When you dress up in the morning, you should feel good. And so even when nobody compliments you, you are feeling fine. Yes. Yes. And I mean a big yes. Listen, a single doctor who is driven with passion to attend to his or her patients will have no need relying on another person for zeal. 
You know, doctors are so passionate telling us every day, you have to take rest, you have to eat well, you have to do this so you distress. But let me tell you, a doctor with zeal, even when he or she is retiring to bed and receives a call to attend to a patient, I am telling you, you know it. We just rise and run. Because that is what brings him or her contentment. And you should have this so that when you marry, your partner's contentment is just complementing yours. You see it. So you're not supposed to be tying your joy, your happiness, your fulfillment to the fact that when you marry, it will come. It doesn't work that way. My sister, it just doesn't work that way. It is not marriage that will bring you happiness. If you on your own are not able to be happy, you have lost it. And it should be an individualistic something. Yes, you should be able to be happy by yourself. So that when your partner comes, he's happy, you're happy. She's happy, you're happy. And life goes on. This is what you should do. And your life will be beautiful when you marry. When you marry, your husband or your wife will have his or her individual life. And that is something you should never forget. You would have your individual life to live. There are times you would need privacy. There are times you would need privacy. There are times you would want to be alone. There are times he would want to be alone. How do you cope with that? Sweetheart, find something that will push you to be happy way before you settle for marriage. Else your frustrations will be too much. Else your frustrations cannot go. Else you will be stressed out. You can do it, okay? I know, you can do it. Just look for the things that make you happy. Just look for the things that drive you. Just look for the things that make you happy. I am repeating it. So that when you marry, your happiness will just be overflowing. You will not have to wait for your spouse to be happy. Catch me again on other episodes of Intimate Talk. This is me, your Lady Flo. See you. Thank you for watching our channel Intimate Talk. If you enjoyed our videos, remember to continue liking and subscribe to our channel if you have not, so that whenever we put up new videos, you'll be the first to watch it. If you have any questions, remember to drop them in the comment below. It's your lady, Florence, as someone.